Assalamu alaikum friends, I am your tax dost and tax host Anthony Williams and you are watching Tax Dosti Reporting. Ta taxdosti.com you can find our blog on our website taxdosti.com and here you can see that uh, an article that appeared in the daily morning mail sales tax is not income tax is here you can find it here. It's uh, an article explaining about what are direct taxes and what are indirect taxes and as always explaining your rights that even government is uh, treating income tax as an indirect tax and collecting from you whereas it should not be. Uh, the other article on the website is to be or not to be taxed which is about uh, the recent uh, changes brought by the Finance Act 2018 which is popularly known as the budget, annual budget of the Federal Government of Pakistan and it explains a few of the changes which have increased taxation so you can read it on our website taxdosti.com our blog along with other uh, information and we'll be updating this blog as soon as uh, our other articles are published in the uh, newspaper different newspapers the nation daily times express tribune today uh, we'll be talking about first of all uh, this is dr ikramul haq he is the authority on tax laws in Pakistan and we will be discussing one of his articles which is uh, which talks about your tax rights which talks about your fundamental economic and social rights. Uh, this article was published in the Daily Times on September 12th uh, sorry it was published on May 13, 2018. Today is September 12th 2018. We bring every day we bring you tax dosti reporting which which are videos explaining the current news and the tax implications and the implications on your financial and tax rights. So Dr. Ikramul Haksab is my teacher. I am very proud to say and he is a teacher who through his books has made many 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 students like me and we all in the chartered accountancy profession and all the accountancy professions use his books as the authority, the guideline on tax laws and this is his contribution for which uh, nobody highlights this point but this is his contribution of making the complicated tax laws of Pakistan accessible to uh, you, the general public because Tax Dosti reporting, everything that we tell you here, I can with confidence uh, confirm that we at Tax Dosti and I, Anthony Williams, have learned from the books and the logic and the cases fought by Dr. Ikram al -Haksa. And I hope to uh, learn from him much, much more in the coming future. And then the things that we learn from him we want to bring to you so that you can know about your tax rights in Pakistan. Let's start with the article. The article is the Supreme Court and exploitative taxes. The Supreme Court is, is correct in taking notice of excessive taxation on petroleum products and on the telecom sector since these taxes are overburdening consumers. Um, in May of uh, 2018 when this article was written the Supreme Court of Pakistan had taken up uh, different issues with the common theme of violation of fundamental rights guaranteed in Pakistan's constitution and the reason Supreme Court took up these cases was because if the government is overtaxing you and me that means that our fundamental rights are being violated so first thing to learn from this article is that it's not only about FBR or the government it's about our constitution and our fundamental rights given in the constitution the government cannot does not have the power to overtax us so in this uh, start uh, uh, start of this article he starts with what the Supreme Court has done and what was the logic behind it and the Supreme Court is continuing 
even today yesterday on 11th of september the same hearing on the telecom uh, taxation of telecom customers was taken up and you'll be hearing from us also what happened about uh, those cases he moves on to say that the executive authority that is the government previous government as well as this government may feel that the supreme court is going overboard but this to uphold the constitution and our rights and to protect us from the executive authority it is the power of the supreme court and he has uh, as he always does given a reference to different landmark judgments as you can see also in his books where he for every section of law in his books he has quoted many many uh, case studies so his books are full of comments case studies all his books on income tax sale tax the other important point that he makes in the article is that the tax system is a fundamental element of constitutional democracy the important question such as who is to be taxed this is very important who is to be taxed according to the rules of in the income tax ordinance 2001 it says that salaried persons should be taxed people uh, earning from business should be taxed people who have given their properties on rent should be taxed people who have assets and sold it at a profit should be taxed under capital gains and people uh, uh, having income other than these four sources should be taxed under the income from other sources so this has been clearly defined but we see that a person a student uh, or housewife doesn't fall in any of these uh, four five categories but still they are being taxed when they are uh, up uh, when they top up their mobile balances so there is a lot of ambiguity who is being taxed when a mobile is recharged uh, how much uh, we'll just see in a little while in this article he has given figures that will astonish you how much taxation is being put on consumers of petroleum and telecom products and for what purpose why are you taxing students why are you taxing rural people who have no income why are you taxing housewives why are you taxing disabled persons all of this he says the tax uh, obligations are to be imposed administrated and enforced are constitutional questions and so the supreme court is has rightly taken up this issue going forward basically he uh, uh, every word that dr saab writes uh, has a lot of value because he writes by uh, decades of experience so one uh, of the i want to read to you it is well established principle that parliament alone should impose taxes and these taxes should not violate fundamental rights in other words they must not be confiscatory or exploitative dr saab is saying that this is a must for the federal government for the provincial governments a rule to be followed that only the parliament or the provincial assemblies can impose tax which means that if fbr decides that the tax on mobile phones or the tax on a salaried person should be not x it should be y they don't have the power and the parliament means not only the government it means the opposition and the senate also so first of all everything should go through the parliament and then taxes should be imposed secondly even if they are imposed they should not be excessive that is according to the paying capacity according to the economic situation of a person so the taxes which are reasonable for the um, uh, people of uh, who have high living standards will be excessive for people in the middle class or in the lower class so parliament should be aware that when they impose taxes they should uh, uh, they should make classes of persons so that every person is not affected and the Uh, taxation income tax on uh, mobile uploads 
is an excellent example of why the parliament has passed laws but they are violating fundamental rights because they have done it without marking who should pay the telecom tax and who should not because everyone is not liable to income tax but still at least 100 million out of 220 million Pakistanis are paying those taxes so there should be some constraints on the powers of the parliament on imposing tax so this is golden words next he uh, Dr. Saab is explaining a very important point contrary to what is propagated by governments and by foreign donors world bank imf pakistanis are some of the most heavily taxed people in the world almost 220 million people in pakistan are paying taxes and basically there are three type of taxes income taxes sales taxes which include service tax and federal excise duty so basically all of us are paying a multiple of these taxes the oppressive and uh, taxation in these two sectors petroleum products and telecom vindicates this claim and the supreme court has thus rightly taken notice of over overburdening of consumer despite the fact that uh, the uh, telecom companies or ptcl is overbilling us or different companies are overbilling us uh, with overbilling, we are also getting overtaxed. So, uh, people are paying a high percentage of their incomes. Just consider that, for example, if a family uh, earns 100 rupees per month, they are paying at least 42 to 45 percent of that in taxes. It may be income tax, sales tax, service tax, or other taxes, which means that they're paying half of their income in taxes this is the point that uh, Dr. Saab is making and the other point he is making is that the way the government is collecting instead of collecting directly they are collecting through the telecom sector is the second highest tax telecom sector in the world we are the second highest nation paying taxes through telecom uh, the ideal situation would be that no tax would be levied just as the supreme court has uh, given an order and right now in Pakistan since June 2018 if you upload um, uh, mobile you make mobile recharge of 100 rupees you will get a uh, service balance of 100 rupees but these taxes were being deducted so for every 100 rupees you were maybe getting 50 rupees of service of 55 rupees so these are excessive rates of taxation he goes on to explain that this also discourages that sector as well now these figures are authentic and very true so you may be shocked that from 2002 to 2009 this has been submitted to the supreme court that the government has collected 10.23 trillion rupees my mother was not good at lakhs and thousands and millions so let me explain that trillion is basically kharab arab Rupay, ek arab rupay, ek kharab rupay, uh, 1 billion and then 1 trillion. So 10 trillion rupees in taxes were collected just on the petroleum, oil and lubricant pro products during these 7 years by the government. How does the government say that only 100, uh, 1 million people pay taxes? This, this means that if only 1 million people pay taxes at least every person is paying uh, 1 crore rupees which is not possible if 10, one, 10 trillion rupees was collected from only 1 million tax filers then that meant that every person was just uh, was paying 10 million rupees which is not possible so basically this collection is from all of the nation and that is why tax dosti reporting is here to empower all 220 million pakistani uh, people as well as taxpayers we think that all are taxpayers because they are paying only one, uh, one million people file the tax return but the remaining 219 million people don't file the tax return returns because they don't have to but still 
tax is being collected from every person. Going forward, he has also highlighted that uh, fast forwarding, uh, so you can see that basically in 2000 and going forward, um, another important fact that uh, if the FBR and the government is saying that Pakistan is full of tax evaders, how come 3500 billion, then again 3.5 tri trillion rupees, 3.5 kharab rupees, which is पिछले 10 महीनों में गवर्नमेंट ने कलेक्ट कर लिए हैं हमसे मुख्तलिफ टैक्सेस की सूरत में दे हैव कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम अस इन द शेप ऑफ इनकम टैक्स सेल्स टैक्स एंड अदर 3500 बिलियन इन द लास्ट 10 मंथ्स नाउ इज सितंबर 2018 सो इन द फ्रॉम नवंबर 2017 दे हैव कलेक्टेड 3500 बिलियन रुपीस 3.5 ट्रिलियन रुपीस and in 1993-94, this collection was just 120 billion, yani 1 trillion rupees. Now it is 35 trillion rupees, and still the FPR says that everyone is a tax evader. No, those people with high incomes are not filing, filing their tax returns, and due to them, all the nation are being labeled as tax evaders. Now going forward. This over taxation is a rare dilemma and basically excessive tax imposed on mobile users and on PUL products are not only irrational but also unconstitutional. Taxes should be leveled to achieve the cherished goal of social justice which means that those earning more should pay more taxes so that it can be used for people who are not that fortunate. Equity means that if the, uh, the rich have so much money then they can misuse it so redistributing that money will be helpful prosperity obviously means developing the infrastructure of the country and uh, making it a prosperous and self-reliance is definitely where we'll stop taking these loans and all the revenue that we collect that is shown in the annual budget comes from in the shape of taxes so the main point to understand here is that since you, uh, the viewer uh, who is watching this video, do not take interest in your tax rights. Do not concern yourself with the uh, parliament regarding what taxes they are imposing, then FBR, how they are uh, implementing this law. And then even when you get notices or if you have to interact with the government system, you do not do it through professional people. So all that has it, uh, resulted in over the years giving a free hand to the government of the day to impose as much tax as possible. And if you are earning 100 rupees and your parents were earning 10 rupees and they could uh, manage their household in 10 rupees, you are not able to manage your household in 100 rupees. The reason is uh, that you are being overtaxed so your cash flows be, it, be you in, uh, uh, in business or being a salaried person or any other are so squeezed that you cannot honestly manage your uh, cash flows. So it's important that this uh, topic that is the Supreme Court and you take it upon yourself and Tax Dosti is here to uh, provide you the platform. You can make comments in our video here. You can subscribe to our channel and be aware that if you don't uh, take steps individually and collectively, then the government will keep on taxing you and it will come to a ridiculous amount of maybe even 95 rupees, which means that you may be earning uh, 100 rupees and then paying taxes of 95 rupees in ways that you won't, don't want uh, like paying for your ch children's fee uh, for, uh, on every expense that you do you'll be paying these taxes so it's high time that you start taking interest and tax dosti is here to uh, protect 
your tax rights thank you very much for your time have a nice day dr ikramul haq saab thank you again for writing such uh, uh, such uh, writing such clearly about our rights and telling us that it's time that we did something thank you i am your tax host and tax dost anthony williams